Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a review of two of the newest additions to my collection. This is a Clone Wars style Anakin Skywalker with the armor and the shoulder pads and then a 13th Battalion Clone Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. And on the right, obviously, is the Anakin Skywalker. This was made by Grandpa Clone Customs, so we'll have a card to him on the top right side of the screen. Really amazing figure, 180 print, arm printing, and dual molded legs. Really, really happy about that. And this actually didn't come with the face, so I went out and bought a Episode 3 realistic style Anakin head and just slapped on the Clone Wars hair. And then on the left, we have the 13th Battalion Clone Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order, as I mentioned. And this is a figure from Blackbird Clone Legions. He has some really other cool figures on his page as well. So I'll have a link to him on the top right side of the screen as well. But just jumping right in, these are some of the cleanest minifigs that I have seen, which is why I went out and picked them up. And most of the figures in my collection are official Lego. These are the two first customs that I've ever purchased. And so there had to be something really special about them to make me change my ways and go out and purchase some customs. And I'm just really, really, really happy with how both of these look. And we'll start off with the Anakin. I'll swap out this clone trooper for the official Lego version of Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. And as you can see immediately, there's a huge difference both in the color as well as just the print style and quality. And this minifigure was made from 2008, I believe. So he's got no arm printing, no leg printing, and no back printing. So using this guy in mocks, not only is he all the wrong colors and the face is just horrible to look at, but he just has no detail on almost every part of him. So I really, really appreciate all the detail that Grandpa Clone put into all of these sides. He is 180 print, which means there's nothing on the sides of his torso or legs, which I like because that is not something that Lego does. And the reason that I picked up this figure and the 13th Battalion Clone Trooper is because I wanted them to fit in with the rest of my Lego minifigures without standing out too much. This guy actually has the Republic logo on his shoulder, and this is the second version of this figure that was released. I missed out on the first version, but the first version actually had the Republic logo on his left shoulder as well, and that is not how it is in the Clone Wars, so I'm actually kind of happy that I missed out on that because this is the better, more accurate version of Anakin from Clone Wars. Obviously, he's got the dual molded legs, which have the boots going around all the way, which is really, really nice. Just beautiful printing. The lines are really clean and smooth, and it fits in perfectly with the realistic Anakin head. So I'm just really, really pleased with this minifigure. Next up, we have the 13th Battalion Clone Troopers, and I went ahead and put them with a custom uh, Cal Kestis that I made with the Anakin head from the pod racing set and his torso from the episode two gunship for the Padawan braid on brown robes. And these guys just look so good together and I'm really, really happy to have them in my collection. Fallen Order is one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time. And I definitely want to have more mocks coming out of that. And once I saw that these guys were actually made, I just had to have them. Really like these figures, and I'll go ahead and match it up next to the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from LEGO. So here you can see the difference. And this guy is printed on real LEGO parts, which is one of the reasons that I went and bought him. But as you can see, the printing fits in beautifully next to the regular official LEGO Clone Trooper. There's very little differences, if any, at all. And I'm just super, super excited to be able to use these guys together in mocks. Because if you guys have played Fallen Order and you're paying attention to the clones, they do have some with yellow arms and some with yellow printing and some just plain white face too. So there's a little bit of customization that I could do with these. I'm definitely eventually going to make a Venator mock 
with the flashback scenes from Fallen Order. So I'm really, really excited to have this guy in my collection. And this guy actually does come with the newer style clone head as opposed to the angry clone, screaming clone head. So I'm really happy about that because obviously it's definitely more accurate and more toned down to a clone trooper. So they're not always screaming all the time, but just a really nice figure. It's got nice back printing and amazing front print that just blends in, as I said, beautifully with the Lego style phase two. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, it's not something that I normally do with custom minifigure reviews and stuff like that. But these two, I'm so happy with that I just had to come out and make a video just showing them off because they are just so well made and beautiful to look at. And I'm super excited to use both of these guys in upcoming mocks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.